Okay, now we're going to reveal the secrets of the RAV4 EV. This one is now actually plugged into a solar system through this wire. Now, uh, Toyota could have done this much more neatly than I did. They could have put a little plug over here. But this little wire then goes into um, the garage where there's a, um, an inverter and it's actually uh, being charged off the electrons from this solar system in the daytime. Normally I don't do this, but it, you can do it. You can charge it right off your rooftop solar system. The secret is this little um, charger in the back. This is the Manzanita charger and it's adjustable. You can change the uh, settings up to 12 kilowatts, so it's sort of a fast charger. It is uh, connected by me using uh, techniques from an electric genius who figured out how to do it. So it isn't the neatest thing in the world. And there's a 110 cord. So if I wanted to charge from a 110 outlet, uh, you know, I could do that too. And there's a converter, you know, so that I could charge from a public charging station. So you have to have this kit because it isn't very friendly. You know, the, the setup for EVs isn't very friendly. But with this charger, I can plug in anywhere. I don't have to go to one of those uh, stupid magnet chargers. Now, if you look inside, here is the control. Now, this has not... This was developed by volunteer engineers on a little Palm Pilot. It actually reads the uh, OBD that is contained underneath the seat here. And it reads the signals which are available, which Toyota didn't want you to be able to decipher. So this tells me I'm 75.1% full. It tells me what my voltage is, 14.1. Maximum, minimum, and average are all the same. So voltage is even across the... Um, the spectrum and tells me that my temperature is uh, the ambient is 73 the uh, low is uh, in my car is 72 the average is 77 and the high is 79 the power being pumped in is 3.2 kilowatts I can jack that up to 12 kilowatts if I wish but I'm, I'm in no big rush since I have plenty of juice right now the 75.1 percent will take me probably a hundred miles if I um, am careful but you know probably about 80 miles if I'm not so then this wire that comes from the charger goes through the car here and I should have paid a stereo installer to do that probably because he would have done a much better job than I did. Um, but it goes into this uh, power electronics unit here and um, what, it, what, what it, it actually hooks up to is the, um, the regenerative braking shunt so that uh, the car thinks basically you leave the car on and you plug this wire in and it goes into the regen braking shunt and the car thinks it's going downhill. <laughs> it thinks it's getting regenerative braking. It turns out that the regenerative braking capability of this car is up to 200 amps. You know, which I, I don't need to charge it at 50 kilowatts, but you know, you, you could easily charge it at 12 kilowatts, and we've done so. And that charges it from 80 to 20% um, to 80% in less than an hour. So that's that's some of the things you can do with an electric car. You know, and I I think that. You know, a lot of people would do modifications if they had an electric car. So basically, this box here is, is empty. Uh, it should have uh, it should have a charger built into it, like the one I have in the back. And there should be where all this junk is that doesn't need to be here. There should be a little gas engine that would um, power the car if um, if the batteries were low. That would make it into an instant uh, volt, an instant plug-in hybrid with a 120 mile range. What we call a PHEV 120. So I could go 120 miles, um, plug in anywhere, go up to a uh, fast charge, go up to 120 miles, and then if I wanted to go more than that, the uh, generator would crank on. So now I'm going to go through the protocol to disconnect the car from the charger. And it is you do have to be a little bit careful because this is just something that engineers cooked up and it wasn't done by Toyota. In fact, Toyota would probably really <laughs> hate, hate it if, this, if they saw this. Uh, so this, we first turn this down. This is the adjustable switch. Now there's also a trim switch here that, that tapers it off automatically. This is really just a beautiful charger, a Manzanita charger from uh, Diamond Mountain Engineering. So I turn it down slowly to zero and then I, I flip it off. Now that turns the, the charger off. And then I'll disconnect the wires and re close the hood and stuff and then we'll take off because I have something to do today. We're, we're all back to together and we're um, we're, the car is ready to go. It's uh, charged up to 75%. That's as much as it needs. Um, and we're, we're about to take off to go look at a local Seal Beach uh, site, which is the uh, Tonga Ancestor Walk and the Seal Beach Wetlands. 
So you see now this RAV4EV could be an instant plug-in hybrid with 120 miles range. You could easily fit a gas engine generator under the hood and also a battery charger under the hood, which is mostly empty space with a bunch of electronics and things like that. So this car is essentially a plug-in hybrid, you know, superior to the Volt. The Volt only has to go 40 miles. This car can go up to 150 miles in a pinch on a single charge and could have a generator that recharges it just the way regenerative braking recharges it and just the way we recharge it from the from the plug in the wall. We recharge it you know almost every day somewhat on our plug and it goes in as regenerative braking and we also recharge it every time we slow the car down. So one of the objections by the phony engineers is that well you know you can't you can't make out a volt because the volt um, battery is more as more intensive than the than the Prius because the Volt battery you know has to um, recharge and get and, and discharge hundreds of times a day um, because it's a it's a plug-in hybrid and so the 40 miles on all electric range is is fine they say but then then it has to go through the the engine starting and, and charging batteries back up again but we do this with our this car all the time. I mean, when I'm slowing down now, I'm sucking energy of motion back into the battery. When I plug it in the way I just plugged it in, it, it reads it as regenerative braking, and I can charge the whole thing up in regenerative braking. And uh, so there's really no reason why they couldn't use these batteries in the Volt, or take this car, for that matter, and make it into an instant serial plug-in hybrid. Superior to the Volt. You could take one third uh, of this battery pack and it would give you the range of the, um, of the Volt. It would give you the 40 mile range that you need. And then just put a little gas engine generator in it, you know, 40 horsepower is all you need. So this is the Helen Wetlands, which was